I've been pretty outspoken about the limitations of L-Arginine supplementation for some time now. So when you see me pick up L-Arginine from Jack Factory, you might be wondering, Ben, what are you doing today with talking about this? Well, what if I told you that Jack Factory's L-Arginine actually isn't L-Arginine? L-Arginine from Jack Factory is kind of interesting. I saw this on Amazon and I was like, that's kind of interesting. Now, Jack Factory is kind of an influencer brand. They sponsor Chris Bumstead, the current Mr. Olympia in the classic physique class, uh, but they are a newer company. I would be surprised if they're using an L-Arginine product. It actually kind of is interesting. It's not straight L-Arginine. It is Nitrazogene from Nutrition 21, who if you've watched pretty much any pre-workout video containing that supplement, you'll know I'm a huge fan of nitrosgene for a variety of different reasons. L-Arginine itself, you'll also know I've been a little bit outspoken in the limitations of its usage due to the lack of bioavailability, the lack of absorption of the body. Now we have uh, admitted that like if you look at Glaxon, there are ways to make arginine more usable in the body, but one of them is to just completely scrap L-Arginine and use Nitrosgene from Nutrition 21. Nutrition 21 created Nitrosgene. It is an arginine uh, silicate bonded molecule added with some uh, inositol blended in. It helps with a variety of different things. It's been studied in performance. It's been studied as an antioxidant. It's been uh, studied against citrulline malate for nitric oxide production, probably the most popular usage of it. But we're gonna talk about a bunch of different factors here, including those, but also looking at the cognitive benefits of using nitrosgene today. So today we're gonna talk about nitrosgene. We're gonna use this as an example. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about why this standalone product is something you should keep in your cab. It. And we're going to talk about the variety of different ways that you can use Astrosgene to improve your gym experience, your life, a lot of different stuff overall. So let's roll the intro and jump in. So off the bat out here, I'm gonna tell you guys that we do have a business affiliate relationship with Nutrition 21. We work with them. When we do consultation, we usually uh, recommend some of their products where applicable. We obviously are not huge shills for them, but we do appreciate Nutrition 21 for what they are. They have a lot of great human clinical data. They pride themselves on having very sound products and we're big fans. So with that said, let's talk about Nitrosgene in L-Arginine from Jack Factory and what it could do for you. So let's talk about the obvious. Nitrosgene is an ingredient that is used in a lot of pump formulas because it's a better version of arginine, which has some deep seated uh, dogmatic love in this industry for pump nitric oxide production. Now, arginine, like I said before, is not very well absorbed in the gut. And there are some things that you can add to make it be more absorbed in its native form, but nitrosgene did it without needing all those things. So one of the ways that we have validated its usage in blood flow supplements is uh, last year, was it last year? Wow, two years ago, University of Arkansas did a great study that actually was not funded at all by Nutrition 21. They actually didn't even know it was being ran, which is kind of cool because it's very little bias at all there, where they compared 1,500 milligrams of nitrosgene to eight grams of citrulline malate. Now, it was at a, a two to one ratio, which actually means that there was six grams of pure citrulline in this uh, study. If you're, you know, uh, familiar with citrulline malate, you'll know that there is none left on the market that's actually bonded. It's just citrulline and malic acid uh, mixed together. So if we're talking about the actual real citrulline in there, it's about six grams of citrulline. They found that there was almost equal levels of pump produced from that. Um, and given that you were using 1.5 grams of nitrosgene versus six grams of citrulline, we can kind of say that it's a more powerful supplement. I mean, in the end, those two different dosages produce the same amount of pump, but per gram, we got more pump out of nitrosgene, which is an awesome thing to see. So we know that it's used in a lot of pump products, and that's obviously, I mean, that's pretty obvious. Everyone knows that nitrosgene does that. But some other things you might not know about nitrosgene is that it improves cognitive flexibility. 
There were uh, studies done where they actually used a test called the trail making test, where they, uh, they subject you to different scenarios. And they found that the cognitive flexibility was improved by nitrosgene, not just on its own, but also there was a study on uh, cognitive flexibility post-workout showing that nitrosgene actually prevented cognitive decline post-workout. I think all of us that actually train hard know that after workout, you can be really exhausted. I personally like to uh, supplement choline post-workout to help with that and hydrate really well. But one way that you can just kick it off at the past is using nitrosogen pre-workout. Nitrosogen can uh, actually increase that blood flow to your brain for over six hours. So you're getting a lot of benefits, not just blood flow for the workout, not just blood flow for recovery post-workout, but also for cognitive boosts uh, pre, intra, and later on in the day. This led them to their production of New Level, which is a completely different ingredient with added more inositol and that is studied very closely in cognitive uh, purposes, like gaming, focus, stuff like that. So they kind of took most of their cognitive data and put it towards new level and put that over in that uh, category over there. You're not going to see a lot more cognitive data of nitrosgene because they really differentiated those ingredients so that one is all for the gaming supplement uh, category one is all for the workouts uh, category. So nitrosogen is going to be mostly in that area. So getting back into that area, there was a really great study showing that arginase levels uh, when using nitrosogen were actually lowered as compared to arginine hydrochloride. Now arginase is kind of similar to, we talk about acetylcholine esterase, an enzyme that breaks down something that is in excess in the body. So arginase is an enzyme in the urease, urea cycle which takes arginine and makes it into urea. Now, that's not really helpful if you're trying to create more blood flow. So normally you were looking at something like norvaline, but that's not really a great um, possibility because norvaline has been kind of linked to some uh, brain to, uh, toxicity issues. We're not really too interested in uh, testing that out. Although the studies weren't super strong, it's easier just to stay away from it. Citrulline does this pretty well. Uh, that's why you see a lot of citrulline with arginine in different products. But if we're looking at keeping the serving size really small, uh, citrulline, either citrulline or citrulline malate, it will be six to eight, to even sometimes 12 grams. So using 1.5 grams of nitrogen can be a way to keep that serving size smaller, keep that scoop smaller, and not have to use a lot of different products. It's also just more cost effective if we're being transparent here as well. So the results supported the notion that arginine actually improves its own bioavailability by preventing the breakdown of arginine itself. So it's kind of self-sufficient in its own way, which is pretty awesome to see. I mentioned before that there was a study that showed that inflammation markers were lower when using nitrogen. While that was a study that used rats for it, uh, and we usually stick to really all human studies, it's kind of a cool thing to see. It's important. Um, we're not huge here on using antioxidants around the workout because we're trying to cause inflammation for the muscle. And so it's because one of the things that the subjects in the study actually reported was lower levels of joint pain, which is kind of interesting. If you are a hard, heavy trainer, I'm sure you've all dealt with knee pain, elbow pain, shoulder pain, stuff like that, and who doesn't want to feel better throughout their day? So that's a few different really great benefits of using nitrosogen. Let's talk about why a standalone product might be good. Well, in this industry, there are times where you can't use all the ingredients that you want. Whether it's a pricing issue, a size of serving issue like we talked about before, or sometimes some companies just don't play well together. Uh, some companies have a very strict uh, belief in what their products are used for and what they can be used alongside and not everyone gets along. So sometimes companies like Nutrition 21 don't get their nitrosogen into products that have other companies that don't play well with others. So so having this as a standalone in your cabinet can be really nice because you can add it into products. Uh, one of my favorite products right now to use is Specimen from Glaxon. Now that sports a bunch of different really cool ingredients, including nitrates, which are really strong bump boosters. Now, if I keep this capsule in my uh, cabinet, I can actually use it alongside specimen, really increase the blood flow, the pump that I get from that workout. Uh, and it's a capsule, so it's easy just to take along with my pre-workout. It doesn't change the flavor. It doesn't really add any inconvenience other than popping two capsules. So that's one thought process that I have with this product. I've used a lot of different nitrosogen in my life, and this is just a raw nitrosogen. Normally, I get samples from the Nutrition 21 themselves, but Getting in the capsule form is pretty awesome. It's pretty easy to take. It's actually kind of easier than taking a powder. So, hope this was helpful, guys. Nutrogen is packed by a lot of human clinical data. Uh, Nutrition 21 goes above and beyond as an ingredient company to provide claims to their uh, consumers 
which are actual companies formulating for you. They provide a lot of help for those companies who are formulating. They are a company that is uh, intellectual property first. They have a lot of great data for their companies that work with them. And that's something that we appreciate in this industry. So uh, we're big backers of Nutrition 21. I didn't actually get this product for free for once. I actually went out and purchased this one. So I actually wanna put that in the video, but I hope that this was helpful and informative. I talk about nitrogen a decent amount, but I usually keep it pretty brief. So this was a fun opportunity for me to go a little bit more in depth on what nitrogen does for people. So if this was helpful for you, leave a comment below. I really appreciate you guys making this far in the video. As always guys, these videos are a little bit biased because we like these companies, but I like this company for a good reason. They provide great data, they provide great uh, products, and they actually protect their own products with certain things called certainty, uh, a quantitatively uh, testable marker in their products to show that this product actually has real Nutrition 21 nitrogen in it. In this, comp in this industry, adulterated products are a problem and a lot of ingredients make their way into products that shouldn't actually be there. So Nutrition 21 does their fair share of protecting their ingredients and protecting products because of that. So uh, if you support good companies, I would recommend you try out something from Nutrition 21. Jack Factory is an easy way to get that because it's in a capsule, but there are some other places out there that you can get it raw. So if you guys have any questions, leave a comment below. I'd love to talk about this product or any of Nutrition 21's products. I really appreciate you making this far in the video. And as always guys, have a great day.